Just over two weeks ago until the midterms, Democrats trying not only to change the subject, but to get, convince voters that they are the ones who are tough on crime. New York Governor Kathy Hochul will be adding more police to the city's subway system after a series of shocking attacks. The latest shows a man shoved onto the tracks in an unprovoked incident. But critics argue her crime pivot is purely political because she's in a very tight race. And New York City's mayor might not be helping her case with comments like this. I think that you, 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 you were right about, you know, not having your iPods in, not focusing on our phone. And I say yes to that. I do the same. And we put out a, a video and information telling people about being aware of what's around them and what's taking place. And I encourage New Yorkers to do that. And Whoa. Blue State, Oregon could flip thanks to concerns over public safety. So it might not be an accident that Portland's mayor now wants a ban on homeless encampments. The homeless crisis in our city is nothing short of a humanitarian catastrophe. We can better connect homeless Portlanders to state and county services by consolidating those critical services in a number of large-scale sanctioned sites. This will be paired with a phasing in of a citywide ban on self-sited, unsanctioned encampments. So that the... The mayor's, the governor's race is very, very tight, and it looks like the Republican could win because, Greg, this experiment that they've had has not worked. Uh, he called it a humanitarian catastrophe yeah. in his own city. Yeah. Now, I can't believe this guy's still around. Portland's been a hellhole since he's been there. Now, Mayor Adams, he does have a point to be, always be aware, but you have to. Now you're in the state where you can't sit in the subway and play Candy Crush anymore. That that those days are gone. You have to look without looking. Used to be you couldn't look in people's eyes. Now you kind of got to look around the whole time. And then people they keep talking about this pushing thing as as unprovoked or random. It's starting to look pretty deliberate to me. The, maybe random for the victim, but it seems deliberate. It seems like what's so, like that guy who did that, that was deliberate. It almost makes me feel like there's some kind of weird challenge going on in the city that we weren't told about. Yeah. And that because it's like, this is happening. People just randomly push people. The strangest and worst thing about this, and we keep talking about this, is that nothing gets done, even though everybody agrees it's horrible. Nothing gets done. So on one side, we'll say it's the Dems' fault, liberal mayors. On the other side, they'll say, but it's Republican governors in those states. And then there's no second act, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, well, I'm happy to never blame another Democrat. Ne I will never blame another no, Democrat to go that far. if they would just join an act, fire Alvin Bragg, right? Get rid of no cash bail. I will forgive them for dragging their feet over this and waiting for politics, political consequences. Just do it. Something. One of the things that they right. said they're going to do, Judge, is <laughs> yeah. add 1,200 cops to the subway system. This is the, just announced on, on Friday into Saturday. Uh, and that's going to be an overtime because there's not enough cops yeah, to actually do that. Well, that's that. the whole point. Overtime. How 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 long can these cops work before they're exhausted? I mean, you know, that's great. And by the way, you figure this out, uh, a hokel two weeks before the election. And by the way, I don't forgive them for not doing this earlier. Do you know how many people have been killed, assaulted, raped? Or the, the guy pushed off the train. It was suicidal. His mother says he's suicidal, pushed off the uh, platform, but he wasn't hit, thank God. And you know what? For Adams to say, you know, you got to be aware. No kidding, Dick Tracy. Why don't you do something about it? I am so tired of going after this mayor. But he doesn't do anything about it. It's, it's, a, it's a fault of Albany. Cashless bail can be resolved. And that's why Lee Zeldin said, when I become governor, I'm going to replace Alvin Bragg as the mayor, as the DA of Manhattan. And I'm going to make sure that we pass a bill that revokes the cashless bail. This is you don't need to be a genius to figure this out. And the fact that these Democrats, like this guy Wheeler, I remember him from the summer of 2020. Now, all of a sudden, he says this is a vortex of, of, of uh, insanity. He only is offering three camps for 3,000 people. The camps hold 125 each. These people, this is theater to them. It's about power. They come out at the last minute so that they can get reelected and get their power. They don't care about us. They don't care about victims. And this mayor of New York City, as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't care about victims because he's not fighting for the victims. Jesse, one of the things that this mayor in Portland is realizing is something that other cities have figured out, and thankfully New York doesn't have, which is you can't allow tents on the sidewalk. Encampments are not a good no, idea. Camping's for the woods. It's not for the city. 
This guy, they defunded the police and then crime exploded. They decriminalized drugs and homelessness and overdoses exploded. All of these blue chip companies have left Portland. Banana Republic left Portland because it was becoming a banana republic. You remember during that summer when they laid siege to the federal courthouse? Yes. They were shining laser beams. 60 nights. In these agents' eyes. Yeah, for 60 straight nights throwing Molotov cocktails. They dropped all the charges against these guys. And then the next summer, they came in and they were street fighting, blasting commercial grade fireworks at everybody. He didn't do anything about it. And Trump said, you know, can I help out a little bit? And he said, take your hate elsewhere. Right. Now, all of a sudden, yep. he's about to do something? No, that's only because there's an election. And then there's Mayor Adams. Don't listen to music on the subway. Don't pack heat on the subway, but get vaxxed. <laughs> because, you know, the COVID will kill you. The crime, crime's just in, in your head. Your head. It, it, remember the other Democrat politician here that was like, you know what, if there's an armed robbery in progress, spill a soda. Distract them. <laughs> there are now, oh, yeah. this is like the time in the crime wave where we get safety tips from the politicians. Why is it our job to fight the crime wave? We elected them to fight crime. If you're not going to fight it, I need a tax rebate mm -hmm. so yeah. I can spend money on jujitsu lessons or something because right. it's their job. Harold, here in New York, uh, there are many House races that might flip to Republicans. And part of the reason, well, a great reason, is because crime is at the top of this, even beating inflation. And so you're looking at somebody like a Democratic leader of Sean Patrick Maloney, who's the head of the DCCC, who looks like he's going to be taken out by Mike Lawler, the Republican candidate. And it's like the Democrats all of a sudden are talking about crime. They missed it. Look, I think whenever you have, I don't, I don't disagree with you, Dana. There are three seats here in New York. Uh, one or two probably should be contested. There's one that there's a real surprise about. Uh, and crime is at the top of the list. I'm a different a little slightly here now. Whenever there's a convert to my side, I agree with it. And I just take them. Like when there are people who used to root for Ohio State and want to root for Michigan, we will take you on to <laughs> our side. And when there are people who, Republicans who flipped on choice at the end of their primaries, I accepted them. Now, is it political? Perhaps. But we have a problem. And I've tried to explain to my party for a long time, at least the last several months, we can't be for violent criminals having cashless bail. We cannot be for not fully funding the police. I will add, there was a, fully, a, poli a bill that went before Congress three weeks ago uh, that funded the police. Republicans didn't like all of it, and all of them voted against it. Democrats ought to point that out. But the bigger issue, Judge, and others, is not lost, I think, on a lot of voters. When you, just like in our last segment, when you tell people that inflation and the economy are the real problem or that Biden should be campaigning in a certain place, people aren't seeing it. Some people aren't feeling that. Democrats who believe that crime is not an issue and point to statistics to try to suggest mm -hmm. that, there have been a lot of people who've lost races because they're trying to tell the voter what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, and how safe you are. If Kathy Hochul wants to make a switch or a shift or she's just amplifying a point she has, we should accept it because I live in New York. I take the subway. I don't take it as much. And we need our streets safer and our subways safer. And anything and anybody that can help us do that, I accept. Should they have come sooner, Judge? Without question. But I embrace them now as they come to our side. I agree with you. I would embrace them, too, if she said something that would make a difference. Other than, I'm going to stop the crime. What are you going to do? 1,200. I, I agree, but it, she's come around. Over time, she's come around. Cash this bail. You're the governor. Make it happen. They all have I agree with a that. huge number of retirements of the NYPD, That's and the right. recruiting is really tough. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.